Good day. The television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today, today's broadcast. Artsakh has a future. The subject of the day with Grigor Amirzayan. Armenia is in the forum of ancient civilizations. The European Court for the first time issued a verdict based on the kill soldier. The leadership of Artsakh cancelled the decree of dissolution of Artsakh. The documentary film about the ethnic Armenian was included in Oscar shortlist. On December 23, the Zoom meeting was held titled by Artsakh as a Future, which was organized by government of Western Armenia, the Artsakh Salvation Movement and the Patriotic Union of Shushi. The indigenous people from Artsakh participated in the meeting too. The president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, the president of the Shushi Patriotic Union, Ashut Haratunyan and others spoke during the meeting. President Abrahamian spoke about the details of the submission of lawsuit against Baku authorities based on the complaints of Artsakh residents and the ongoing protests at the European Court of Human Rights and said that the first judgment began on December 19 in 2023. During the meeting, the issues relate to Artsakh refugees were discussed within the framework of the subject which Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, the president of the Republic of Western Armenia, answered them with clear arguments. Grigor Amirzayan, deputy of the Third Convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, referred in his microblog to the draft of cancelling the dissolution of Artsakh. Grigor Amirzayan also informs in his microblog that in Shahumyan Square in Yerevan, there are stalls of our compatriots from Artsakh of our traditional cuisine and handicrafts. Grigor Amirzayan also published a video on his microblog where he analyzed the events of the last week. The video is available on the YouTube page of Western Armenia TV. Vahe Gevorkian, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Eastern Armenia in Tehran, presented the policy of international destruction of Armenian historical and cultural heritage, monuments and the changing of identity in Artsakh. According to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia, they participated in the seventh ministerial meeting of the Ancient Civilization Forum held in Tehran on December 21. In April 2017, Athens hosted the first forum of ancient civilizations in which 10 countries have been participated. Among them were Greece, China, Egypt, Bolivia, India, Iraq, Iran, Italy, Mexico and Peru. The 10 countries represented the major ancient civilizations. The first forum was organized by the initiation of Greek Foreign Minister Nikos Kozias and with the support of his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi. As the Greek minister noted, the meeting of states with great historical culture is relevant today and affects on humanity, being a form of soft and economic power. Armenia became a full member of the Forum of Ancient Civilization in July 2018. Eight member countries of the forum gave their consent and said they regret that Armenia is not yet participating in the International Forum because Western Armenia is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. On December 19, the European Court of Human Rights made a decision on the case of soldier killed during the armed conflict. Commenting on the decision of the European Court lawyer, Ara Ghazajan stated at the press conference that the European Court usually rejects such kind of complaints based on complaints regarding the killing of soldiers on combat duty which happened at the border post of Chinari village. In one case, the court determined that the European Convention on Human Rights does not apply during the active phase of the armed conflict. The lawyer considers this case special in that because Armenian soldiers were on the combat duty in locations. However, at the given moment, when Azerbaijan soldiers suddenly attacked and killed the Armenian soldiers. Armenian soldiers were unarmed. Our soldiers were busy with household matters. Therefore, at the moment of sudden attack, from the side there was no military need to deprive them of their lives, to use a lethal force against them. According to the decision made against the Republic of Azerbaijan, the European Court rejected the one that presented by Azerbaijan and accepted the version presented by Armenian side, which were based on facts and reality. Sanve Shahramanya's advisor Vladimir Grigorian made a remarkable statement, pointing that the decree on dissolution of Artsakh no longer exists. Later, Artsakh Information Headquarters released a message informing that Sanve Shahramanyan met with the head of state bodies who continue to hold office on a public basis. During the meeting, Shahramanyan referred to his decree on September 26, which recently has been widely discussed, emphasized that there is no document in the legal framework of the Republic of Artsakh that envisages the dissolution of 
state institutions. Earlier, the Member of Parliament of Artsakh, Kiram Stepanyan, announced that there are currently discussions about the Samvel Sharamanyan's recognition decree on the dissolution of Artsakh as unconstitutional and cancelling it, but it is still not clear how this process will be initiating. In a conversation with Russian cocoa expert Stanislav Tarasov said that this was a rather surprising statement that need to deep study and analysis. Although the other day there was news in the Azari press that Sharamanyan's decree was called unconstitutional by the member of the government. In fact, that news was reliable. There was a discussion and such a decision was made. However, according to Tarasov at first said, it can be assumed that this is being done to cancel the decree that stopped Azerbaijan's September operation, after which Armenians of Karabakh left Nagorno-Karabakh and the document was signed under pressure. According to the analysis, this is primarily done in order to carry out the work of Artsakh government in the uh, Republic of Armenia from now on, as well as to have the opportunity to raise the issue of the rights of Armenians of Karabakh. What kind of work this government is carrying out today, what specific result this work gives and will give in the future is another question, but there is an intention most likely to continue the work of the government and show the world that even though the Armenians left Nagorno-Karabakh, the structure of Nagorno-Karabakh that worked in the past will continue to work in the territory of Armenia and will deal with the rights of Armenians. The second major goal is naturally intended for the future and future developments, perhaps some possibilities which are difficult to understand today because Azerbaijan authorities are already dictating the situation in Karabakh that Armenians can live under the constitution and laws of Azerbaijan. There are no Armenians in Karabakh left, which is a key circumstance. However, it is most likely that if the future there is an opportunity for Armenians to return to Nagorno-Karabakh, these structures can perform some functions. At this moment, I can say only that one of the goals refers to the present and the other will refer to the possible future. After all, the right of Armenians of Karabakh to return to Nagorno-Karabakh is being talked about in Russia and even in the West. Ben Proud, Food and Chris Bauer's documentary shortlist, The Last Shop of Repair, was shortlisted for the 96th Academy Awards along with 15 other films. The core of the film is an Armenian character. The film tells the story of four dedicated craftsmen who keep more than 80,000 students' musical instruments in a good condition in the city of Los Angeles. Their general manager is Steve Bagramian, who suffered ethnic persecution in Baku in the 1980s. The film was shortlisted for the best documentary short film category being uh, selected from among 114 films nominated in this category. The Last Repair Shop is available online on the Los Angeles Times on YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.